Hey angels, welcome back. So today I want to discuss some mental health stuff, guys. I haven't talked about mental health stuff in a while. And um, one thing in particular I want to talk about today is borderline personality disorder. And as a lot of you guys know, I do suffer from borderline personality disorder, which is also called BPD. So if anybody out there struggles with borderline personality disorder, you know exactly how challenging and how hard and tough it can be day to day. Okay? And just know that you are not alone. So first I'm going to start off with some symptoms of borderline personality disorder. And I'm going to tell you guys... Um, if I have these symptoms and if I don't have them. So, the first symptom of borderline personality disorder is fear of abandonment. I do have that, guys, okay? Yes, I fear abandonment. But only with people who I truly, like, care about and who I spend a lot of my time with. Like, my husband, friends that I really care about, and my family that I really care about you know not just with anybody cause like with everybody else I don't give a fuck okay so number two well let me explain fear of abandonment it says well it just said that um, in relationships um, family members whatever you know okay like I said that is one of my symptoms and it only occurs with people who I really really love and care about with um anybody else I just like I don't care you know if you leave you leave who cares number two unstable relationships that is true um in my past i have had like a lot of unstable relationships and to me it's only because i don't know why it's been but i i feel it's because of other people i know that's just how i feel y'all but anyway yeah i had that symptom So, unstable relationships. I've had that in the past. And now I do have that with friends. You know, like, a lot of people come in my life now, you know, and try, to, you know, to say that they are my friend. And they're going to be there for me anytime I need them. You know, blah, blah, blah. The whole friend story. And they end up disappointing me. So, yeah. Number three. Shifting or unclear self-image. Y'all, I know who I am, okay? I think I do have this partially. Because I know who I am. It's just that, yeah, I do... Um, I do shift back and forth with certain things. Just certain things, you know. So I partially do have that symptom. But I am clear of who I am and what I want out of life. Um, number four, self-harm. This is one I do not have, y'all. Thank God I don't have that one. I do not um, self-harm myself. There are some people who have BPD that do self-harm. Um, I just don't have that symptom. I do not self-harm myself. It says, self-harm and suicidal behaviors are common BPD symptoms. Suicidal behavior includes carrying out suicide attempts, thinking about suicide and making suicidal gestures or threats it includes seeking access to knives p 
pills, guns, or other objects that can be used in a suicide attempt. Um, I don't self-harm myself. So, number five is impulsive and are self-destructive behaviors. Let's see what that really means. Impulsive behaviors can include anything from spending too much money to getting into fights. I do have that one, Angels. Um, sometimes I do spend a little too much. I think I've gotten better over the years in spending. I have gotten a lot of better. And I save more now. But at certain times, um, I just get the urge to go spending. Fights, angels. Let's say I do have issues with people. I do. I really do. I do not get into physical fights, but it takes a lot for me not to sometimes, you know, but I'm proud of myself that I don't get into physical fights. Um, but the way people try me sometimes, it's like, Number six, extreme emotional swings. Definitely, I definitely have that, angels. People with BPD will very often experience extremely intense mood swings. Um, symptoms often describe it as feeling as if they're on a roller coaster. The mood swings experienced by those with BPD are more intense and happen more often than a normal person. And can last up to several days. That is a big symptom of mine. I do have mood swings. And um, I'm a very emotional person. And it can be very extreme sometimes. Definitely. It definitely can be extreme. Um... And I'm having certain emotions and feelings. So that one is definitely true for me. Number seven, chronic feelings of emptiness. Okay. Um, yeah. If they mean that, and I think they mean like sometimes you, you don't feel anything I think that's what that means and you know that's me sometimes like um I explain it like sometimes I know like if something happens um that I'm happy about I know that I'm happy but I can't feel it like I can't feel the happiness but I do know that I'm happy and then sometimes like if something happens that I'm sad about I know I'm sad but like I can't feel it at the time like I can't feel it like number eight feeling out of touch with reality or suspicious thoughts um yeah I'm always suspicious I'm always suspicious angels um it says paranoid and feelings of being out of touch with reality or other symptoms of BPD. Paranoia means a person has beliefs that he or she is being persecuted or harassed. And I do get paranoid and all of that. Yeah. Very suspicious of a lot of things, you know, and things that people do. And sometimes 
I get very paranoid. So that is true. That one is definitely true about me. So, number nine. Explosive anger. One of the more troubling symptoms of BPD is intense, inappropriate anger, sometimes referred to as borderline rage. Um, not much at this time is known about why people with BPD experience anger differently than others or how it's different. Yeah, I do get explosively angry at times about certain things angels a way that I help myself when I'm feeling that way is I'll break something I'm not saying that's the best way to handle it and I'm not telling anybody else to do that but I just do that because for some reason it helps me and gives me some release if I just break something like I don't break it over nobody's head I don't break it over my head like I don't hurt myself I don't hurt nobody but if I'm angry and like let's say I go in the kitchen and I take um, a glass my glass and I break it or if I take a vacuum cleaner and I just break it something like that helps me you know it really helps me for some reason um so that's my remedy that I use when I get too angry because I just feel like I have to release that anger and I am not gonna release that anger on a person and I'm not gonna release it on myself so that is my outlet to break something. Um, so that is what helps me with my anger. Explosive anger, angels. So that is it, angels. So those are all the symptoms of borderline personality disorder, um, BPD. And those are the ones that I do and do not destruct. That I do and do not struggle with. Um, if you guys have borderline personality disorder. Then just know. That. You are not alone. And. You can get through. Borderline personality disorder. You can get through it. And you just have to find. Ways. Ways. That helps you to deal with your feelings and your thoughts without hurting someone or yourself. Like I said, um, explosive anger is one of my big ones, you know, a big thing that I have to get through with my BPD. And I never hurt another person. I mean, with the things that I say, I might hurt people sometimes, but physically, I never hurt somebody, and I never hurt myself. So, being able to just break something and letting that anger out helps me, you know. If I can find something else better than that, then I will. But for right now, that is something that helps me cope with my anger. And as long as it's not hurting another person or hurting myself, then I feel good about that. So angels, um, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, comment, and share. If you suffer from borderline personality disorder share your thoughts and feelings and if you're having some of these thoughts or feelings or symptoms share them in the comment section and if you know somebody dealing with BPD share this video with them and um, 
I will see you angels in my next video. Bye angels.